What's up guys, RK Tech here, back again with another video. And uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how you can get lower temperatures on your Intel-based uh, laptop by turning off Turbo Boost and undervolting your CPU. So first, let's discuss what is Turbo Boost. It is actually a feature on your i5 or your i7 CPU that uh, automatically makes your CPU run on a higher clock speed giving you more performance depending on the design of your specific CPU. For example, what I have here is an i5-7300HQ. It has a processor-based frequency of 2.5GHz but it also has max turbo frequency of 3.5GHz when turbo boost is activated. So the CPU determines when the turbo boost will kick in depending on the load and uh, more importantly on the temperatures. Therefore, the max turbo frequency is not always guaranteed and we don't really have the control over the amount of frequency it will generate. What we can do is turn it off so as to reduce the temperatures. We all know that the more powerful the CPU, the more power it needs, therefore the more heat it generates. So what, do you, so what we're gonna do is to head on our power options by right clicking on the battery right here and go to power options as you can see you can create a new power plan so you will be creating one let's uh, base this on the high performance preset and we will name this turbo boost off and then click next and after creating, you can immediately select this and then we will have to change our plan settings and click change advanced power settings. So after clicking that, you will be redirected to this small window. Scroll down and go to processor power management. On the minimum processor state, expand this one. As you can see, Plugged in, it says 100%. We will lower that to at least a 99%. And on the maximum uh, power processor state, open this up. Both uh, on battery and plugged in is, a, is on 100%. Uh, we will lower this down to 99%. So basically, what it tells the CPU to do is to not go beyond 100% of its capabilities therefore eliminating the need to turn on the turbo boost so hit apply and then click OK so that's it we've already turned off the turbo boost and now what we will do is to undervolt the CPU so basically what it does is it actually makes the CPU consume less power to do that we will be needing this uh, program right here called the Ext Intel Extreme Tuning Utility or Intel XTU. I have the link on the description below so you can download and install it. Since I hope I have already installed this one, just opened it up. So before we begin, I would like to uh, to inform you that the uh, values that I will be inputting here in the core voltage offset varies differently on each system so your system may have different uh, value than what i have right here so basically what you want to do is head on the advanced tuning section there are different uh, values right here but what we need to focus on is this core voltage offset by default this is set to zero volts I recommend you start at a negative 0 0.09 apply after doing that you have already undervolted your CPU to negative 0 0.09 volts so now what you want to do is to run some stress tests right here or you can even uh, run benchmarks or play some games and use your system as you like watch out for any crashes or any shutdowns or restarts once you feel like uh, you have a stable system you can actually go on lower and increase the values to let's say 120 or 130 for me the sweet spot is at 120 
as I begin to experience some crashes or shutdowns when I increase the value to 130. So again, this may be different for your laptop. Just test it out and find the sweet spot for your CPU. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video and uh, find it useful. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.